hello namaste welcome or welcome back to great arrow so how are you i hope you're doing good i hope it's an amazing day for you so if you're new here if you like my content please support my channel if you have already supported me thank you so very much for all the love and the support means a lot to me thank you thank you so very much so in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the text that i'll be using will also be listed so the topic for today is magical things coming your way so for group number one this is the image and you have got in two charms uh, we have the b and the key the b and the key <laughs> okay so okay for group number two we have this microphone and uh, group number three it's the horse so close your eyes relax connect with your intuition Choose a group that calls you intuitively. Take your time. Pause the video if you need to. Okay. So one, two, three. These are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And these are timeless readings as well. So the timestamps will be in the description box. I will see you in your group. Group number one. So let's see what is the magical things coming your way. So the we have the earth bird phoenix rising from the ashes. Wow, look. Uh, from the ashes from the lowest to the highest you know you have red rock bottom and things are moving upward if you're feeling in darkness that that period is not going to be there for a long time you are getting out of that and you're go going to a place where you will be feeling very abundant because we have uh, the key and the bee right and bee gives us honey and bee works in community a lot of support you're, so you are unlocking a lot of support if you are in a place where you feel like no one is supporting you no one loves you that's what is changing for you guys you are attracting a community where people will work together help everyone support each other and uh, and i even feel like you are going to rise above because of these people this support that you're getting here so yes you are getting out of this darkness and you're going to see the light and uh, here I see that you're healing your pain and you're finding your power, you're finding your place. If you have felt like that you, ne you, you don't fit in anywhere, you're finding your place where you, where you know that you fit in. That's the energy here. So for some of you, this can be like losing something that was very important to you guys, right? Maybe it can be a job, a position, but what's happening is you are coming much stronger and you're going to get something that will be much better than the thing that you have lost that's the magic here so yeah that's what i'm getting here so something that has pulled you down that exact thing is making you fly high but of course there is a lot of support from other people here you're not doing it alone though you're getting the if you have lost respect and honor you're getting it and people will respect you more so something that has lost is coming back that's the magic here so let's see what are the magical things coming your way and you are healing you're healing you're healing that pain and you're transforming that pain into your power that's the magic here so let's see what is it close up pleasure with a close friend yes definitely there is support here for you guys so if you are in at your lowest you are not alone even though you feel like it but you are not alone because there is a person who is really helping you really supporting you really praying for you guys i really see that here okay you are not alone you are not alone you are supported you're very well supported So support, friendship is what is the magic I'm getting here. Support, friendship. You know, sometimes when we receive good friendship in our life, that's all we need. If we have a good friend, you know, isn't that a very good thing? I feel like it's the one of the most wonderful thing if we have a very, very good friend that can do anything for us. Yeah. Um, Look, we have discord among, among friends or family. That's what it is. You are moving away from these kinds of people who talk behind our back, who don't value us, who don't respect us. And you're moving to a place where people will be in harmony, where people will work together. So it can be like you moving places, moving jobs. 
and again you know some for some of you this can be like you losing a job because of some sort of politics right and then you're getting a job with the help of a friend and you're moving into a place where you will be seeing people working together for one goal there is no gossip there is no disharmony people are uh, helping each other so that's what the energy is you will be very supported there you will be respected there so again this can be with a relationship as well as you rise above what is happening is you're turning you're turning your pain into power you're moving forward and you're meeting people that will support you that will value you that will respect you so respect and honor is coming to you and the mice right the people who doesn't serve you you're letting go of these people the people who gossip the people who create discords you're getting out of out that energy and you're moving into a place where there is harmony again bees work in community that's what i'm getting here and they produce the sweet honey and the, you're you're going to be with people who are working together for one goal working in harmony for to for one goal and and they're respecting each other very well they're recognizing their ideas they're recognizing their worth and so look we have the recognition reward for merit so it feels like your ideas who you are as a person you will be valued you're going into that place here you're going, getting the support this support is this magical thing the support of a friend that is changing your life so a friend you know it, it can be like your uh your right now this phoenix rising of, of the about the ashes like maybe right now you're you're feeling very down and this friend gives you an opportunity you you pick up yourself and go for it and then your life changes that's the that's the energy i'm getting here yeah so let's see what is it so something that you have lost you're getting it back but you're not getting the exact thing back you're getting something much better than it good people good relationships yeah recognition you've been paid well and because of it your mental health is also improving that's what i feel like here you know again if we are with good people if we are with supportive people our mental health is going to be very good isn't it but if we are not with those kinds of people our mental health will be bad right so our environment some sometimes really affect us and i feel like your environment has been affecting uh, affecting you now for some of you you might be making a decision to move somewhere by yourself and that will be the best decision where you will feel you will meet good people and your mental health is going to be so so much better that's what it is yeah <clears throat> let's see what else you're not allowing anyone to stop you anymore that's your power because you have done that that was the pain maybe you have allowed many people to pull you down now you had you know you had hit rock bottom and you were like no i cannot allow that anymore and that's how you are converting your pain into power and now no one can pull you down and as you are claiming your power as you are working on your self worth as you're transforming that you are going to be very bold and you're not allowing anyone like this to uh, make you feel sad you're not giving them your them your power anymore and that's why i feel like there is a lot of good things coming your way here so what you like it's it feels like uh, with this basket there is a lot of abundance that is coming your way here we have community oh wow look again community we have the b community good people look at these two these people they're different they're very different but together they're one they have one goal but they have different different uh, talents different different skills but they are dancing they're in harmony so a very good community very good set of people a supportive people is what the magical thing that is coming your way that's what and these people will appreciate you these people will recognize you these people will give you what you deserve right what you're giving to them you will be 
getting back again if you're working in a company the boss the co-workers are very good they help each other and the boss is a lovely person who really really cares for their employees and gives the value they are providing so if you're providing an idea you will be paid very well so that's what it is i feel like here so i uh, maybe you know with this retreat as well this you know this uh, job that you're doing they will uh, they will give money to go to vacation they will give that time off uh, they will really value uh, the you know their employees mental health they are not going to make them overwork so yeah that that's can that can be the thing so um, so that's what it is that's what it is for some of you i would say uh, you uh, you're getting a job where people work in harmony people support each other people love each other people uh, recognize their work their effort and and are paid well and they are paid well they go together they face the challenges together they are one yeah this team is one <laughs> um there is no gossip there is no politics there uh, there is no competition there that kind of environment where people work in harmony that's what i'm seeing here you're getting out of this discord like maybe you were in a place where people were always gossiping and because of it your mental health was very bad you were not recognized and finally you are unlocking a job or unlocking a community where people will be sweet to you people will give you good guidance people will help you support you recognize you respect you yes that's what the energy is so let's see what is the magical thing coming to group number 1 This can be about uh, leaving a community and meeting new people, new friends, very good friends. Let's see what is this magical thing. We have this is a new beginning here again, rising above the ashes, turning your pain into power. Now you are not settling in for less. Now you are enjoying your life more and more and more. You know, but once a person uh, sees the worst, loses everything that when they don't have to lose anything, they are going to take the risk, right? And that's exactly as see you taking the risk, living your life, finding your own place in in yeah, you're finding your own place and you're going to get that place. That's what I feel like. You're taking care of your mental health because it's very important you're recognizing that you're moving away from the people who who really really you know sometimes some people really really make us feel bad about ourselves you're away from these people now you're going to find more joy you're living in more joy because the people that you are meeting this is the magical thing right the people these people are magic like magic they go you know when we live with positive people we thrive we become more a uh, carefree light hearted but when we are with negative people we are very heavy hearted we are confused all the time we are not clear and here the amazing thing is like you are meeting the people who will make you light carefree light hearted that's where you can where can very very you can express yourself without any fear where you can be comfortable right because you know you will be protected and you will be safe again this fool there is this crocodile <laughs> interesting and there is a bird who is warning this person right so yes like that only there are people around you who are actually going to support you uh help you not pull you down you know i feel like in the past you know, there was someone who pulled you down like pushed you <laughs> into this crocodile's mouth but now you are not meeting those kinds of people that's the change that's the mag magical thing you're meeting the people who will warn you like don't go this way go this way <laughs> they will give you the direction they will support you right so i feel like the magical thing is you feeling very very light hearted very carefree you're feeling like uh in new you're feeling like this is your new life right where there is a lot of good people around you uh, the people who really understands you supports you that's what it is so the magical thing is this community guys where you will be recognized for who you are whoever you are you will be recognized you will be given the respect that you deserve queen of swords <laughs> Yeah look we have look so look again you were with some people who were very competitive i feel like that they just wanted their uh, their good and they might have used you for that 
and because of it you might have felt like that you're not good enough that you're not worthy enough you know some people does that with this queen of swords i feel like that but now you know who you are who you your people are even if it's a small community you're going to be okay with it because it will make your heart flourish it will make your heart sing it will be you will feel very happy you will be listening to more of your heart because when we are with positive people or we, when we are with positive influence right um, <laughs> yes things change when we are in a positive environment we become more positive we think positively we are very clear on what we want because whenever we say something that is in our heart we are valued we are respond, uh, respected we are not uh, told that we are not good enough no you're not in you're not going to be in that community uh, that type of uh, community you're going to be with people maybe there are this in this community maybe there are only uh, less people maybe this is a company where there are only 10 workers but it's the best for you it might not be a huge company it might not be a huge community but this this community is something that will that will understand your heart that will allow your heart to sing the way it wants to sing with this knight of cups they will support your decisions they will guide you but they will support your decisions they will respect you for who you are they will recognize your ideas and they will work in a team with harmony that's what your that's what this magical thing is about okay so let's see again with this lotus you are blossoming but interestingly lotus blossoms in a muddy, muddy environment you are getting out of that muddy environment and you are blossoming in a very clear and clean environment right with very healthy individuals with very supportive individuals so again if you are a student you are moving away from a from a group of friendships where there was competition where there was like a fights you are moving to a place where this group of students are helping each other finding their good in each other uh and and staying in harmony dancing together going together making decisions together not ditching one another because of competition where they value their heart where they listen to other people so good friendship is what i feel like you're getting good people good environment good workplace good relationship but this is not not about relationship it's more about a community of people who are supporting each other with this bees as well and this community card again this community can be very small but it will give you all the things you need yeah wow we have expansion so yeah uh so you are getting into a space where you will be growing with these people because these individuals have lot of potential you have certain potential you will be giving that to other people these individuals potential you will be getting so it's like a game where everyone is teaching and learning from each other <laughs> isn't it so nice and and in that in that process everyone is expanding so a healthy group of people a healthy group of in uh, friend uh, friends right uh, maybe five or six maybe you are just a group of five or six people but you this this is the magic these five to six individuals in a group is magic this community is magic with and they are helping each other and everyone is expanding <laughs> right everyone is uh, everyone's mental health is good everyone is being supported respected everyone is com comfortable with each other there is no gossip nothing like that that's what the feeling is here so it it can be you you starting something like a startup with five to six people and it's growing it's it's something very risky to do but it will lead to expansion here it will give you a lot of uh, support a lot of wealth because this is something that you you're doing because your heart is telling you here So yeah, rising above. Yeah. So let's see the. Yeah, that's it. Oh, all my cards have <laughs> finished. So yes. So I feel like I'll take one more card. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like one more card for you guys. Final message here. Let's not end like that. Yes, change. The change that you have been waiting for is happening. So yes you're rising about this thing you're rising about this fear of yours and you're changing your fear into your power your pain into your power and you're attracting a group of individuals that will work for the same cause that you want to work that will help you uh, to know more about yourself and you will be helping them to know more about them and there is a lot of 
a lot of fun there is a lot of uh, light heartedness that's what is this message here okay i hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up again the lotus look at the lotus the blossom is there you're blossoming guys again the phoenix you are in your power you're blossoming here with the right individuals you know with the right people everything can be right i feel like you're meeting the right set of people people that's what the message is here that's the magic maybe you haven't met those kinds of people yet maybe you uh, maybe you're thinking right now does does those kinds of people exist yes it exists <laughs> so that's all i have for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated uh, i feel like the summer time by the summer time you will be with these group of people <laughs> i really feel like if you're making a shift if you're moving to places maybe this is a place where there is a where there is a lot of sun uh, then this is one of your sign okay so that's all for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated i will see you soon bye bye take care namaste group number 2 let's see what are the magical things coming your way you have this microphone okay okay and we have the earth ox one with the universe look again her chakras are all balanced she is feeling very centered she is she has a faith she has faith that divine will take care of everything uh, she is aligned with the universe and when we are aligned magic happens so definitely you will be seeing crazy synchronicities maybe you are someone who already who already are seeing a lot of numbers and you know what when you wake up a uh, list uh, you know just uh, just center yourself and just go like 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 and say to yourself today is a magical day i am going to see a lot of magic happening in my life and you will see some sort of magic what is magic for you maybe seeing a rare bear bird is magic maybe uh, maybe someone giving you a compliment is magic and sometimes some help arrives out of uh, nowhere like that is magic and i feel like that is what you will be seeing you will be seeing the magic in daily lives in in your daily life So here, point that out. The more you point those kinds of things, more you're going to see more of that. When we align with the universe, crazy things happen. Crazy synchronicities happen. Don't name it as coincidences because you will be seeing it. And I even feel like here with this expression, you need to express that to people, the people you love. Share it with the uh, with your friends. These kinds of synchronicities and talk about it because when you start talking about it, you will know more. So, you you might get some information that you didn't have before so that's also i'm getting here don't shy away from expressing these things uh, share this magic with the world share this magic with other people share these words M many people need to hear that okay share the good news with the people that's one one thing i'm getting here and another thing i'm getting here is like a lot of ideas will be presented to you guys like when you are sleeping in your dreams maybe you will be receiving ideas like you're cooking and you get an idea take note of that write that write it down work on it it's the it's a gift from the universe these ideas are the magical things for you guys so i feel like here you are uh, going to cultivate a lot of magic in your daily lives and you will be seeing more magic as you believe in magic you will be seeing so much magic happening in your life so for example in your area uh, some sort of birds are very rare to come and you see the rare bird bird that's magic because you were at that time when the bird was there that's magic not everyone will see what you see that's magic okay so this sometimes you know magic is in small small things and i feel like you're going to see that or you are already seeing it for other people you will be start seeing like that when we are aligned with universe you know magical things happen it can be small it can be big but sometimes when we relate to magic with things of big things why magic lies in small small things yeah getting that green signal <laughs> as magic uh, you know maybe you're going to some place and it is a very a crowded place right maybe it's a coffee shop and many people always go there and you go and you're late and you feel like oh if there is no one it will be great and then there is no one that's magic <laughs> that's a synchronicity maybe you feel like oh someone would help me uh, th with this thing and you meet the person when you're walking home that's magic that's the thing and, and you know sometimes we feel like if wish i could have this idea and i will make the next move and you get that exact idea that's what it is 
uh, your sacral chakra is on fire a lot of passionate energy i'm feeling a lot of creativity you're you, you're becoming very creative i feel like you uh, there is this expansion with creativity i feel like that you're uh, you're you're not creatively blocked anymore you're unblocked so a lot of ideas a lot of amazing uh, synchronicities a lot of a lot of people you might be meeting uh, that will give you some opportunity or give you some information uh, that you need and you will be finding yourself at the right place at the right time that's what it is that's this this is that the thing so i would recommend take a small small book and note down all those things that are happening every day name at least three things like that you will see more of it i'm sure <laughs> and maybe 26 number might be important number for you guys and it uh, reduces to number eight it's about infinite possibilities you know sometimes when we feel like there is no possibility then there comes a possibility right <laughs> universe is like that when we feel like the no doors are left to open then a door opens that's what it is sometimes it's it's, it's not logical it's something so un unexplainable and i feel like you're going to see more of that <laughs> number two so this is a very magical file so let's see group number two if you own a citrine crystal i feel like um, maybe keeping it with you will be very good because it will give you more joy and pleasure i'm getting the citrine crystal here for some of you 26 number might be also important maybe this is the date you were born a two or six life path eight life path okay anyways let's see again the orange color also is catching my eyes so for some of you you're going through a major glow up something that you thought uh, like again a person who didn't have that much of hair finally they are seeing that uh, the group you know their hair is growing very well maybe they're taking care of it but it's growing very well it's it's becoming good right like that that, that it can be it, it can be with you as well some sort of things changing in you you are having a glow up like that's what i'm getting here healing your skin something like that is also there so let's see uh deep friendship with someone of the same sex wow okay for some of you this can be you manifesting good friendship as well okay if you if you're someone who believes that you don't have that kind of great friendships this friendship is coming again you are aligning with universe right you're becoming one with universe you're surrendering to universe you have this faith in universe and once we are in that energy we are centered magical things happen as i as i told small small things first it will start with small things and then then you will have something amazing right maybe for some of you will meet a friend i i feel like right now if you are someone who don't have a good friend you're manifesting that friend and this friendship is going to be there for a long time not only for a short period of time but a very long time where you you will you know again with this expression you will be able to express anything to this friend so if you are into uh, some sort of uh, things like uh, astrology or maybe meditation not everyone around you maybe like those things and <laughs> maybe this crazy synchronicities that you talk about you know maybe you talk about talk to people but maybe they're like oh are you crazy like sometimes people will not understand us and you're getting that person who will really understand your craziness <laughs> because they are also seeing that right uh, it's 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 in fact it's not at all craziness but we are li we live in a way, world where these magic are being like ah oh, what are you talking about you know people don't understand sometimes some sort of things people don't understand so so maybe there is a uh, there is a jo uh, there is something that you love doing or you like watching this person also like it and you can share things and have fun with that person that's what i see here okay uh, yeah so maybe you always wanted that kind of friend finally it's happening <laughs> yeah oh wow time to act you know when we are one with the universe we, we know when we need to act when we need to slow down so here uh listen to your gut feeling you can listen to your gut feeling your intuition is going to be very 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 strong for some of you i see that you're clairvoyant you will be receiving visions so maybe when you uh, wake up wake up and you feel like i need to go to that place i need to call to that person i need to take action on this idea go ahead and do it because it will give you a lot of good rewards 
Uh, yes, there is a lot of happiness that is coming your way. Again, when you are aligned with universe, happy events, happy coincidences happen and that's what I see for you guys. So don't worry. Don't think too logically because sometimes our intuition will not give us any reason. It will not be logical sometimes, but you got to trust. That's what it is. You got to trust. Trust in yourself. Trust in your own feeling. Like maybe you will feel like, yes, I need to take action on this thing. Take action because no one, I feel like no one have, have ever complained <laughs> listening to their heart. And, you know, you know, this is a strong feeling when we feel like, yeah, this is something I need to do. And I feel like many people have done that and have got awesome results. So trust it. Maybe in the past you have done some sort of things like that, taking a crazy step. And it, it maybe there might be times, you know, think about those times when you took some, did something crazy because you felt like that and you got amazing results, right? So here I even feel like in, I feel like that in the coming days, there is some sort of crazy ideas that will be presented to you guys. Maybe a friend will give you that idea or maybe uh, through some movies you might get an idea. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this is a feeling that you will get from yourself. Act on it. Act on it, okay? That a magical idea is going to be presented to you guys. That's what I feel like here. So let's see. And several times need to plan ahead. Again, this, this is what is uh, moving away from your life. That's what you're letting go of, I feel like, group number uh, two. So I feel like you're, that's, the, that's why I was talking. When a person is centered, when a person ha has faith, they have completely surrendered to universe. So if, even if the outside is not that settling, like even the outside is not working according to your plans, you know that your inside is okay, that everything is okay. Your inner garden is okay, right? You're feeling good about or this thing and that's enough be in that feeling because maybe it's just like a little bit more time is required for this thing to uh, come into fruition but it will happen so yes i feel like there is this uh, feeling of calmness lightheartedness you're feeling or you're going to feel even though the results are not there yet even though you're not getting the results but you feel like that it's going to be okay be in that state because you're going to create whatever you want to create here okay there's a lot of doors that will be opening for you guys a lot of ideas that will be given to you guys so trust that plan and move forward so let's see wow we have energy balance look i was talking about it yes and we have the abundance as well look Getting so for many of you, you will be receiving many money out of nowhere. You know, unexpected money is also coming your way. I feel like that maybe you will take one step. Uh, you know, as I told you, get an idea, you do that, and you get a lot of money. So again, I talked about this energy balance. Your chakras are balanced, and once a chakra is just chakras are balanced, amazing things happen, right? Because we are aligned with the universe. We have faith. We have this is a very good energy to be in, right? And that's why whatever we want to manifest, we can manifest. You can create your own reality. Perfect health is there, perfect wealth is there, perfect job, perfect friendship. Very good state you're going to be in. That's why I, I was telling you to know down all the magic, magical things that are happening in your life. The more you note it, you're, the more your brain will search for it, right? And the more you will get it. So wow, for some of you, I would recommend med uh, chakra meditation. Okay, it will be very helpful to clear any blocks that is there. So again, I feel like here for you guys, there has been a very big wish that has been pending for a while. You are moving forward towards that wish. I see that wish of yours is coming true. If it's a very big wish, it's coming true for you guys. So be in this energy here because you are in balance. And if you're not in balance, if you haven't surrendered, if you don't have faith right now, this is what you need to cultivate. The more you will cultivate, the more you will be seeing the magic. So that's why I told you like when you wake up, Close your eyes, go 10, 9, 8 and say that today I will see a lot of magical things and you will see and note that, that things, small, small things, okay? So yeah, let's see what else is for group number two. What magical things are coming your way? Carry citrine crystal, I don't know why. Or a citrine bracelet if you have, wear it. Because lucky times are ahead, guys. Lucky times are ahead. That's the thing. You will be seeing yourself at the right time, at the right place. 
right time at the right place you will be you will be going walking somewhere and you will f meet the correct person that you need if you want to like for example you don't know which doctor to see maybe you have an issue and you will find the correct doctor or maybe you you will find a flyer of that doctor like that like that information will come to you you don't have to go search for it like you you wish like oh wish i had this thing and um, mm -hmm. And you will get that. You're just walking outside and you get that thing. You know, uh, two, two days before, uh, one, thing, one thing like that happened. You know, in 2021, I, uh, you know, this is the time where winter is starting here. And uh, so I had seen a group of flamingos flying because they're migrating birds and all. And uh, we were going in the car and I just spoke to my husband. Oh, wish I could see the flamingos again, <laughs> right? I want to see the flamingos again flying in the sky. It's so beautiful, such a beautiful view. And you know what? Five minutes late, five minutes after five minutes, I see that. I see that. Oh God, that was magic for me. <laughs> like that. That's enough, right? You, you will have like that kind of situation. And please know that down. And, and whenever you see that, you might feel a very good energy. You will feel grateful. You will feel, you will really believe in that kind of magic and stay in that. That is the energy that you need to be in. The more you are in that energy, you know, the more you are aligned and the more you are aligned, your wishes are going to come true. Don't worry. If there has been some sort of wishes that haven't been progressing, it's going to progress. So let's see. That's why, you know, I, I felt like sharing that's why, the thing that, because it was magic for me. <laughs> What, what do you think about that? Is it magic or is it just a coincidence? <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Yeah, turn off once. You're getting out of this energy. You're getting out of this burdened energy. Again, with this kangaroo, uh, you know, hopping everywhere. Don't know what to do because there is too much to carry. But once we surrender everything, we give it to divine. Here, this person is not only doing their work, they're also thinking about the outcome. They're also thinking about the results. They're frustrated. They're carrying too much of load. But once we lighten the load by giving the things that we don't want to uh, take on us, like the outcome, you know, we don't know. We can just plan ahead, move forward with things. We can take action. But when we start stressing about the outcome, it's too much of pressure. It's too much of baggage. But once we let go of it, we center ourselves and we have faith and we let the universe do their work, then magic happens, right? So that's what it is. Do you don't have to carry the burdens? Lighten your load. Uh, maybe you're taking the stress of other people. If that is the case, lighten that. Or maybe you're doing too much of work. If you can lighten and uh, lighten some of the works that are not important to you guys, um, do that as well. Okay. That's also something I feel like is an advice here. Wow. We have the lion again. <laughs> yes again we have the tower of course we are talking about the magical things you know sometimes when we see this magic what happens is like oh my god it's like so surprising you're just surprised that's the energy of this tower i'm getting here <laughs> okay so yes you're moving away of uh, away from these kinds of unsettling times and uh, uh, you you are very courageous people the more you have faith the more you surrender the more magic you're going to see in your life so center yourself let go of this negative self of ne negative thoughts patterns that is what you need to work on right now the more you're working on it the more you're surrendering you are going to see things coming out of nowhere again with this tower your wishes manifesting out of nowhere <laughs> right yes and then you will be like oh i didn't i shouldn't do this much i didn't you know i didn't have to plan this much i just had to work on that one idea i had to just climb that one step that was enough so go with the flow trust in the process because amazing things are happening for some of you i even feel like oh and it's success is coming your way so maybe there is a wish that you have been working so hard but then one one day you just wake up woke, you know you just wake up and you see that it has manifested out of nowhere, right? Like that's the energy I'm getting here. So let go of this devil energy. This is one of the things like overthinking. This is the baggage that we don't have to carry. For some of you, if you have back pain, I would really recommend taking rest or going to a doctor. Uh, that will be really helpful for you guys if there is a lot of back pain. Okay, just uh, yeah, go. Yeah, so again, it will require a lot of courage for you guys to trust your intuition, trust that idea and take action. So do that. And when you start doing it, 
I feel like you will see that crazy things happening in your life, things happening out of nowhere, Me you're meeting people out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, sudden events like again for some of you this can be epiphanies as well getting a lot of ideas right but you will have to have the courage to take action so the more you're balanced the more you will have courage so let go of the worries let go of the toxic thinking don't take the stress of anyone else uh, don't take the, ca uh, the baggage that you don't have to carry lighten your load that's one advice here for you guys see the final message here for group number two the magic Oh wow, we have the blue bird spirit. For some of you, you might have seen a blue bird in your dream time. Then this is very, very important here. <laughs> if that is the case, like a lot of happy times are coming. You're seeing your dreams manifesting. You're meeting the people at the correct time. A good friendship is there. You, you, and I feel like you're becoming very, very confident as well. You are having the confidence in universe. I see that. You know, once we start having confidence in universe, that's all is enough, isn't, isn't it? It's like the universe is that great friend of yours you can rely on that friend and you know that that friend is never going to ditch you and is going to give you whatever you want and that's how you're treating universe and the more you treat universe like that crazy things will happen <laughs> you will see those crazy magical things happening in your life oh god this is a very magical pile so be ready for the magic to flow uh be you know center yourself whenever you're feeling a little bit um, negative I feel like you need to let go of it. Like, uh, you know, when we clean our home, most probably we have to clean our home daily because otherwise there will be dust. So like that only our mind also sometimes get like that, foggy and or cluttered because of other people. So every day uh, release that as well by doing some sort of chakra meditation or maybe going out doing yoga or looking out in the nature, looking at birds will be really helpful for you guys, okay? But I feel like for some of you, you, you know, when you will least expect it, that's when you're going to get your wish come true. There is a wish come true here. Yes, that, are, you, that you have been manifesting for a while. It didn't happen. Now you will see like your small, small manifestations are coming uh, fast. Like as I told this, flamingo. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is a sign. Seeing pink, pink flamingo is a sign for some of you. I don't know. But anyways, I, I felt like I, I wanted to see it. I saw it, right? That's a, just a small manifestation. Like that only it will happen and then you will get into this big manifestation. Spring season looks very prominent for you guys uh, because of this pink flowers and I, I just look at the flowers as well and Leo season as well. Okay. July, August and April months, I feel like are going to be most prominent for you guys. Okay. Uh, something will happen at that time with this tower <laughs> some sort of wishes are coming true for you guys i really feel like that uh, a deep wish of yours okay so that's what the message is for group number two hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye take care so the misty group number three if you have chosen this horse and you have this earth monkey you can move mountains and you got the horse as well you know the horse is a is a as an animal whose mental and physical strength uh, strength is like so much right and here we you have you can move mountains right uh, your your mind is very powerful so are you ready to see the miracles of your mind so <laughs> whatever you want, you can achieve in your life. That's magic. If you set your mind to something and move forward and persevere and uh, be strong to conquer anything, any fear that you have, you will be able to get anything that you want in your life. Group number three, this is the miracle of your mind. That's how strong you are. And again, faith can move mountains. If we believe in ourselves, if we believe that we can achieve something, we will be able to achieve it. So are you ready to have faith in yourself like the horse? They have the physical and mental strength to conquer anything and you are like that. And you can, if you want some freedom in your life, in an area of your life, you can have that. So imagination is one of your powerful tool, I would say. And there is a book, Miracles of Your Mind from Joseph Murphy, I think. I, I would recommend that to you guys <laughs> because it will change some sort of uh, belief in you that it will be that will work like a magic for you guys. And I really recommend his um, affirmations, guys. Doing his affirmations will also be very, very helpful for you guys. So what is that one area you feel like lacking? Uh, maybe it's health, wealth, whatever it is. Uh, I feel like he has affirmations on health, wealth, 
so go I'll, uh, you know read his books i feel like that will be a magic thing <laughs> magical thing for you guys uh, so maybe that's the thing because we are talking about magic and uh, and i recommend you a book miracles of the mind and for some of you you will take that opportunity to read that book and you will create more ma- miracles in your life or magic in your life for other people you know it's up to you if you want to read or not but yes so that's one thing i feel like that's the you know that's that's all is magic someone recommending you a book you know magic shouldn't be a big thing it can be small small things like that you finding this video is magic and you're getting this book you're reading this book and you're changing something in your life and then your outcome is changing that's magic yeah <laughs> but one thing you have to understand that your mind is a powerful tool so use it wisely so before going to bed say the things that you want to achieve in your life don't dwell in your fear if you want to achieve anything right now you're in a position where you can achieve it, that thing so set your mind to that one goal you are here to achieve it you will be able to persevere and you will you will be able to do anything to get it so once we are like i want this thing universe you keep moving forward and universe will help you book number 3 let's see what is this magical thing coming your way oh pay attention so for some of you this can be related to with money maybe you're feeling lack in money maybe you want the freedom you want the financial freedom and you can achieve it you can achieve that thing so for some of you this is the time to work with your subconscious programming and maybe that's why i uh, talked about uh, joseph murphy's book i feel like that's one of the good books uh, to increase your uh, finances you know because uh, he talks about it and he makes us understand uh, about the concept of wealth as well right so for some of you this can change um i yeah you know maybe for some of you already read the read his book power, you know power of your subconscious mind but i'm getting this book miracles of your mind okay so again this is where, because we are talking about this magical thing so if you set your mind into something if you have any issue with money maybe right now the obstacle is money you don't have enough money to pursue this thing you know magically things will come magically money will come you need to understand at the end of the day is mag- money is energy right uh, so yeah if we want if we believe that we can have it we can have this amount of money we will get it and i even talked that one of your uh, powerful gift is your visualization skills so see yourself having uh large amounts of money and if if the block is money for you right now in you know maybe you have a goal you have a passion that you want to follow but the lack is with money read that book as you read that book as you set your mind and you know as you as you change your mindset as you change your mindset from lack to prosperous you will see more money flowing to you and then there will be no obstacle with money <laughs> okay and you will be able to pursue your goals dreams whatever it is so yes So there is some sort of resistance I see that's why I mentioned that book as well and right now you're in a place where you can move that also that resistance wow look beautiful cards you're getting we have the angels spiritual guidance protection from harm this is magic your angels guiding you showing you the way right but sometimes what happens is when we are not in that energy uh we deny our good are you someone who is open to receiving or do you have some belief that uh, you can have that much only like you can have this much money only if that is your concept you need to work on that and you can do it you can move mountains you are that powerful maybe you don't have the information right now maybe you don't have the understanding and maybe this book that i recommend is an is a way for you guys so start doing start reading that book if you have already read it I feel like maybe you have a lot of information about it but there is something some sort of block is there so go and read that book again but one thing you need to understand is your way is going to be clear if there was money obstacle that way is going to be clear because you will be finding money somewhere you will be getting money from somewhere you know magic can come in any form so for some of you you will be seeing the magic with money maybe someone will gift you some money maybe your relatives will gift you money maybe you will get some sort of refund who knows like something like that that you didn't expect <laughs> so yes there is a way for everything if we if look with this you can move mountains if you 
see that like I can I can make it happen I, I I'm going to go anyways I don't care if there are obstacles I'm just going to go this is my goal divine and you go and you persevere then the obstacles will be removed by your angels that's magic <laughs> but but you need to set your mind to this thing you need to believe in yourself you need to trust in divine and you need to follow your heart for some of you you are really really intuitive do you trust yourself do you take actions when you feel like taking action or you procrastinate if you are someone who procrastinates a lot if you are someone who complains a lot that is all the things that you need to let go of okay so let's see what else wow illusion <laughs> again you are in this illusion that uh, money is very hard to come there is some sort of a belief system that is an illusion for you guys that is hindering your progress right now you're very powerful being your mind is very powerful you're very very powerful manifestors group number three but an illusion is stopping you from moving forward this can be the illusion that money is hard to come by money doesn't grow on trees what kind of mindset is for, for you maybe for some of you this is related to money what concept of you know what what is the concept of you uh, regarding money is it really hard to come uh, or for uh, to money to come we have to really really work really hard what is what is the concept related for you guys to uh, with money i feel like that's that's some sort of illusion is there and here with this candle as you work on yourself as you visualize this illusion will also fade away so a person who is uh, changing their mindset right so as i told you mind is very very powerful so if you're feeding it with negative belie beliefs you're going to see more of it right but if you're changing that belief so before going to sleep you are praying like money is easy to come by money i'll get money you know if you're having that kind of prosperous mindset you will see this illusion of yours fading away you will see that and you will see more light coming your way and that's how you will understand that sometimes it's our own mindset sometimes it's our own limited mindset that stops our good and once you understand that miracle of your mind you will know that whatever you want to achieve you can achieve because our subconscious mind is very powerful too if we use it wisely it can become something it can become a tool for us to achieve anything that we want in our life that's how manifestation work so what is manifestation we ask and we get it but we have to be in that energy we have to be in that uh, energy to receive if we are in lack mindset if we are in fear, fearful man, mindset if, if we have this illusion that money is very hard to come by then you are going to see more of it right so read that book that will be a game changer for many of you if you don't know that i really feel like that but you will you know changing your mindset is a process as well you cannot expect you know uh, yeah i did five days five days before going to bed i said the affirmations i felt it nothing is happening and then you stop then you are going to be stuck in this illusion then you will never come out of this illusion you will have that belief only that money is going hard to come by come by but once you understand the powerful mind that you have the powerful subconscious mind that is working for us to give what we are thinking right so every day without you know without your you're not questioning you're just believing that this is possible for me and you're doing it every day every day you're making it a habit like you brush teeth every day you're making this is this is a habit you will see you will see you, you, and you will see how your illusions are going to fade away so that's what i feel like here so let's see what is the magical thing coming your way Yeah, look we have this devil energy here okay. again once you end this thing you know you need to end this habit of overthinking toxic toxic thinking patterns some sort of belief systems can be very toxic to us right that's how you know if you look at some some people generation by generation they will have money problems <laughs> you will look them all the people will be suffering from some sort of like health issue it's because that's carried from one generation to another generation because it's the, it's in their belief system because that's how they have they have ra raised but once we are becoming more conscious right when we are understanding that it's something that we can end maybe we can end this pattern of toxicity we can end it 
because that's how powerful our mind is. So again, if you're in your family line, many, many people have money issues and you're also right now having it, you can change it with the help of your mind because your mind is very powerful and you can move mountains. You're very courageous, you're very strong, but for that you will have to be disciplined. You will have to be consistent. You cannot go back to that toxic thinking. What happens with many people is I feel like uh, they, when they try to manifest, so they might do it for 10 days and then maybe some small, small results they will see and then they stop and then they get back to that old thinking patterns and then they see more of it and then they complain like nothing is happening, this is all an illusion. You know, maybe they talk about that this thing, this, this the miracles of our mind that we are talking about is, a, is an illusion, there's no such thing like that. And then we come back to our old, old mindset and leave the same old life with a lot of lack. But once we are out of that thing, once we end that thing, we cannot go back to that thing, right? We cannot go back to this kind of toxic thinking. So I feel like for many of you in the spiral, maybe you have read that, that, you know, read those kinds of books and you might have applied those teachings, but you will apply it for like some time and then you let go of it and then you get back to this toxic thinking. And then you see the same results that, that you don't want to see. And then you start complaining. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you stick to one routine? Do you do it every day? Do you believe in it every day? That's challenging, isn't it? Because we are trained, we are programmed to live in fear, to live in negative negativity, to see the chaos more. We have been programmed in that way. So changing our programming requires a lot of physical strength and mental strength. It requires that we have to be very consistent, but you have it in you. If you are ready, if you, if you don't waver, if you don't go back and forth, if you just like, yes, this is, this is something that I've learned, I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to apply until I see the results. If you are in that, that energy, you're going to see the results. There is no doubt. So let's see here, group number three. Okay, one card is on the floor. Let me take it for you. Wait a second. Yes. Look. Sometimes we are like, there is too much competition. I cannot have it. There is too many people. I cannot have that thing. But you know what, if you look at nature, there is so much of abundance. There is not only one flower, there is multiple flowers. Sometimes we cannot even count, isn't it? But yet we limit ourselves. There is too many people we cannot have. There are too many uh, problems. I cannot have that. That's the toxic thinking we need to end. So you need to end that. And you have the power in you because you can move mountains if you believe in yourself. But sometimes you feel like that you cannot and that's the illusion here. This devil is that illusion that keeps, keeps us trapped. And we feel like we are here to suffer. No. Yes, <laughs> look, again, Ace of Cups, are you ready for that new beginning? Are you ready to change your mindset? Are you ready to fill your cup, pour your cup? Even though the external doesn't feel like it, maybe you are changing your, you know, you're doing some sort of manifestations and you're working on it. You share that experience with uh, your mother and your mother is like, what are you even saying? This is not true for us. We have never made that much money. And then you're like, yes, your family, no one has made that much money. So how can I make? Again, you are in this limited, limited energy, right? Then you are like, oh, this is all waste. I shouldn't do it. Then you get into self-doubt. And then again, you get into this illusion that nothing will work out. And that I'm here to live the life like my parents, right? No one has done that in my family, so how can I do it? What is self-love? Maybe you talk about self-love and they're like, you're just wasting your money, don't do that. And you're like stopping it. You know, so many ways the people can stop us, but are you ready to not give in to that and listen to your mind, listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, let go of the competition. You, know, you don't have to worry about the competition. What you need to do is to work on yourself, work on your mind. And the more you work on that, the more you work on, your, uh, on this subconscious programming, you will see the changes, you will see the miracles happening, you will see the magic coming into your life. So 
so again you know we have the butterflies here butterflies is all about transformation so if you are someone who is applying you know sometimes we read a lot of books but we never apply what we are learning it's very easy to get back into the old routines when we cultivate new routines maybe we do it for one month and then we can get back so maybe you started meditation meditation you did it for five days six days one week two weeks three weeks then you got back again to that old programming it's very easy to get back but this time you need to not waver you shouldn't go back to that kind of mindset if you believe in you yourself if you are consistent with it this new life is yours in this new life you can have anything that you want you can have this money that you want you can have the love that you want but if you choose to stay in this illusion like there is a lot of competition i cannot get a job then you will have problems with getting a job but if you set your mind that if i want this job i'm going to have it no matter what i will if once it i feel i'm going to try again you will make it happen you are that courageous you don't know your courage right now so the more you dive deep dive into your subconscious mind that's how you will understand your power that's how you will get back you know it's 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 a process it will take time because understand you have been programmed a certain way for a long period of time and you're changing that programming right it might take years for some of you but some of you it might take months for some of you it might take days it's up to you it's about about you how you do it how you believe how much you have faith how much you have surrendered right that's the thing so but if you are consistent you are going to see the magic of your subconscious mind subconscious mind can give us solutions can provide us ways when we don't have any ways but we need to listen to it we need to listen to our subconscious mind so before going to us uh, you know before going to sleep get into this drowsy state like as joseph murphy says get into this drowsy state and then ask you know just say that this is the problem i need a solution and in your dream state you might receive the solution when you wake up write down it and ruminate over your dream you will find answers i'm sure that's how this magic works <laughs> this is the magic for you are you ready to deep dive are you ready to do that yeah then you are going to change your life so let's see the final message oh this was a very different reading here so final message yeah you don't even know the power of your manifestation skills because you are like again this this person is like a magician he has like some magic and he's doing some magic and he's getting it and he's very focused in his magic he believes in his magic that he can create he can do this right so sometimes we don't even believe in our own magic we don't believe in our own skills we will don't believe in our own talents we don't believe that our talents can produce this much money for us we settle in for less we feel like we are not good enough we are not worthy enough that's the illusion here can you break free from that illusion and focus on your mind change your mindset the more you change your mindset and believe that anything and everything is possible for you the competition nothing is going to matter if i believe in something if i go for it if i persevere because i am like the horse i have the physical and the mental strength i will make anything happen for me if you are in that energy if you if you if you are not going to give up you are going to make it happen group number 3 that's the message here uh for you guys hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye